Hello everyone, my name is Thomas Kim. Today is January 30th, 2019. This is 34th episode about template method programming. In this session, we will learn optimized C++ programming and multidimensional matrix too. If we combine DECL type order with static polymorphism, we can create very optimized application. This session is based on previous session template method programming 33rd episode about static polymorphism in C++. Please click this link. From this video, please select and download our previous source code. Also from previous video about optimized C++ programming multidimensional matrix 1, click this link. Also download the source code from this link. This link. We'll be using two libraries we developed in our previous sessions. Template Metaprogramming Episode 29 and Template Metaprogramming Episode 33. In the download folder, please unzip the files. And also this file. Click static polymorphism folder. Then click this file. Type name age, copy. And go up folder in matrix 2. Please paste it here. Or please replace the file. Then in download folder again, please unname the folder name. O3 like this then copy this folder paste it to your working folder then double click the folder name copy the folder path copy and right click your command prompt properties paste it here click OK then start Visual Source Code, Visual Studio Code, File, Open Folder, Paste the Folder Path, Select Folder, Click this button, Start Command Prompt, You should see the files like this. We will start with the GNU Compiler, G++, std c++ 17 talk playpen matrix modern cpp d test build o g1 exe g1 Okay, this is previous state of our application. It currently calls copy constructor twice, then move constructor three times. The sample code, this is the sample code. Here, copy constructor is called once, copy constructor is called twice. Copy constructor is called twice, then move constructor is called three times. Okay, once second, twice, then three times called. We will fix this issue. I will first remove this part. And I will go up. Then at the beginning section of the code, we will include talk play pun, type name H. We'll be using this library, Control V, and scroll down. I will remove some part, some useless part. I will delete this part. I'm cleaning up the code. I will also remove this part.
and I will remove this part too. And I will also remove this part. I will clean up a little bit. Okay, this is the previous state. I will build once again. G1, it runs the same as before. Now I will compile it with the Microsoft compiler CL EHSC STD C17 Talk Play Fun Matrix Modern CPP D Test Build FE M1 EXE I made typo M O T E R N Okay M1 So it calls copy constructor twice move constructor three times we will improve it significantly Here I will not change the code anything I will change only in this file. I will I will disable this part. Before I disable this part, I will change this keyword. I will only change the E C L type oro. I only change this part. Then the remainder is the same. Here I will change the file name M2. So M2, please note that move constructor is removed. It previously move constructor was, was called three times. Now move constructor is called only twice. Okay, we can further optimize this move constructor. Is it possible? Now also try with the GNU compiler. I say G2 G2 In case of G2 only two copy constructor two move constructor move constructor so one one move constructor is removed in both case We will optimize this concept in this session I will first disable this part sorry I disabled then I introduce template class template type name t1 type name t2 please note that we are in matrix class This is matrix class. We are inside of matrix class. This is end of end of class matrix. So we are inside of class matrix. Struct matrix OPR ST. template type name t1 type name t2 struct matrix opr st this is matrix matrix operation matrix t1 matrix t2 matrix matrix operation here template type name l type type name l type static 
DECL type auto will define add then L type M1 R type M2 I will use some using type using L type T talk play pawn remove constant reference L type it returns a uh, matrix type using L type R type R type T talk play pawn remove constant reference R type here if context peer if context peer is introduced to C17 standard then here SCD is L value reference if L type no DECL type M1 you are testing if M1 this type is R value reference then we can do like this M1 plus M2 okay then return STD forward L type M1 else if now we are testing on the right hand side M2 M2 then here M2 plus M1 return STD forward R type M2 we are recycling M1 M2 else it means neither M1 nor M2 is R value reference we will create a constructor let me see matrix we are creating a constructor constant dimension T dims like this then this MD dims like this allocate array we created this new constructor and here we can create a constructor like this first m1 m2 should be of the same size size t size m1 size assault no it should be the size it should be total total m1 total then here total should be m2 total then we have L2, L1, L2 type here
we will just use copy constructor auto m m1 we are using copy constructor here copy constructor then m m2 I don't think we need this it is handled in the constructor then return m now we defined this class now we test this class like this here a template type name l type template l type type name type name l type friend decl type auto operator plus l type left l type right then here using l type t talk play fun remove constant reference l type using l type t talk play fun remove reference r type no r type then return this class matrix opr l type t r type t template add std forward l type left std forward r type right okay we introduced this operator now let's try it Yeah, C, G plus plus, STD, C plus plus seventeen, talk play fun, matrix, M O D E R N modern, C plus plus, D, test build, O, G three E X E. Now let's see what's the error message. 362. 362. Oro. It should be Oro. Now try again. Three hundred and forty two. 342 342 if context here I need B B like this now try again okay it works we see the result the same as before like this so we we can add arbitrarily test modern. I will just remove this part. Add a a a a. We can add arbitrarily like this. G three. So copy constructor is used only twice, only two. One copy constructor, 
to move constructor. One copy constructor is because here one copy constructor is unavoidable. Then we we will create uh, this is addition. We create subtraction like this. I just copied and pasted it. I modify it into sub like this. Then everything is the same with this and this and this. And I also need to define this one. This is plus operator. I need to define minus like this. This is minus and this is minus. Okay. Then I need to define another operator here. I copy, paste, then it should be minus, and it should be sub. Sub, like this. I modify it like this. Now let's build. Let's try. Three times add, we will minus twice. Then it will give just A or A. All results should be zero. Okay. See? Only two move constructor result is zero. It's working properly. Sorry, I think I made some mistake here in subtraction. This part is wrong. This part is wrong. We have to fix this part. First, I will remove this code is useless, not used. So I will delete. And also, this code is not used. So I will remove. And this part, this is M minus M2. So it should be changed, modified like this. First, size T total M1 total assault total should be M2 total here for size ti equals zero i less than total plus plus i m two i equals m one i minus m two i i have to fix like this then the re the rest is the same i saved also note that the element type of m1 and element type of m2 can be different because the target is m2 we can modify like this using elet talk play fun element t then decl type m2 it returns element type then we can modify it like this elet okay now let's build and try Expected semicolon 388 size t total like this. Okay, it works. Now let's move to scalar matrix operation. 
I will delete this part, the older older code, and I will add for scala matrix multiplication. I copied and pasted it here. This should be multiplication, and this should be multiplication. Then we need to define more advanced class. I copy this part. I copied and paste it here. I will change it like this. Scala, Scala type. I will just say it ME type. ME means matrix element. Like this, this is matrix, this is color. Color matrix operation. Here, static DECL type auto. I need template, template, type name, Scala, type name, matrix, auto, multiplication, Scala, I will say Scala T. Matrix T. Scala T. S. Matrix T. M. If context peer STD is R value. Reference B DECL CL type M. In this case, M is M is I value reference, then we can recycle it like this M S. Or we can say SCD forward. Scala T. Then return std. We'll see. We'll use move M. Let's see. We can just use std move in this case. I will talk more about this later. Or std forward. I will use std forward. It doesn't matter. Else, here we have to create one matrix like this auto r m. We are using copy constructor. Then M SDD forward color type S then return M I will I need to copy this class once again. Pasted. The order should be changed like this. Matrix scala operation. We change the order like this. Also change the order like this. 
and also change here cut paste and also change here cut paste now here we will be using this construct we will use this construct then we don't need this I will just simply remove here we are creating two using M type M type means matrix type talk play fun remove constant remove constant reference t here we have to provide this type using scala s type t talk play fun remove constant reference now we provide scala type return matrix operator we are recycling this function it should be scala type this one this is matrix type like this now it should be template mul std forward now we are providing scala type here scala type comes first so i copy this part s std forward now matrix type m type then the parameter is M. M. Like this. We are simply forwarding Now we can add multi scalar multiplication operator like this. I copy paste then it should be multiplication then here it should be mul now with this we can now try with scala operation i will remove this part i delete it and we can try with the scala operation I delete this part 5 times A. Okay. Now let's build and run. Here 402, 228, 228. No, it is, I made it wrong. We don't need this part we don't need this part now save we can also modify like this type casting element t now save now let's 250 290 total total and no this is scala this is not like this this is scala okay this is correct okay g3 this is matrix a we multiply the multiply the five why what's why result is the same let's see 
matrix A matrix C sorry I have to modify it like this R R now let's build once again G3 okay it works matrix A five times and this is matrix color application here we will change the order like this 5 it should also work Three. Okay, it works. We can have arbitrary calculation. Now let's define color matrix division here. I will now define division like this. Copied, pasted here. Now it can be color division like this and uh, like this scroll down here scala matrix we are defining division here i copied pasted then it should be div div And here, this is wrong. We are dividing Scala with the matrix element. So it cannot be done like this. Say size t total m total. For size ti equals zero i less than total plus plus i m i equals s divided by m i then we forward for the m we have to fix like this in this case i will copy this code paste it here copy R this is R S divided by M then we return R we fix it like this I will copy once again. I copied. Now here. Sorry. I copy this function. Copied. And pasted it here. We have to change the order, cut, paste, I changed the first order. We also have to change this order, cut, paste, now here. We are dividing matrix M with the scala S. So matrix M with the scala S. I think it's enough like this. Then return M. In this part, 
m is divided by s so here m is I think in this case we can simplify like this m divided by s because we defined operator in this case we are dividing m by scalar so we can say like this okay we first copy m then divide by s okay now we add division operator copy paste then division then it should be div okay now with this we will change it like this 5.0 now let's run g3 something wrong no oh, we have to do division g3 okay it is divided by 5 properly if we want to do division like this a then it doesn't work before because it has zero elements here we will start with one like this then try it g3 okay it works properly i will fix one small thing actually i don't need to fix but i think it's simpler here we can simply do this r s because we defined we defined the operator for matrix scalar division it's good enough this is matrix scalar division for example matrix scalar division 5.0 okay it works as expected before i close this session i want to add one more simple utility function here end of class end of matrix class i will add a simple function template type name t type name dim type type name dim types matrix t make matrix dim type first team type types ARGS return first it should be size t size t first static cast size t ARGS with this utility function we can modify like this auto
make matrix double it, we are creating two dimensional matrix and we don't need this we just need auto like this so let's try once again okay it should work as expected as before okay in this session we defined operators plus minus and scala matrix plus multiply matrix scala multiply scala matrix division matrix scala division for matrix matrix multiplication I will explain in some future sessions it might be a little bit challenging for you to understand I understand it must be quite challenging and I will try to explain one by one every every elements I explained in this session also about how to handle division by zero I will also talk about this in some future sessions please subscribe to my youtube channel thank you for watching